Well, a word of warning tonight from police. Mm -hmm. Put away your cell phones when you get behind the wheel. We've heard that before, but this coming just ahead of the first day of school here in Knox County. Yeah, we're talking about the hands-free cell phone law. It is illegal for anyone in a school zone to be holding, texting, or scrolling on their phone in that zone. That's unless their phone is on hands-free mode. Well, we had WATV6 on your side reporter Laura Holm out today talking with parents. She joins us now live outside of Christenberry Elementary School. So Laura, tell us what are they saying about this new law? Well, Kristen and Lori, parents are saying that they hope that no one is so careless so close to their children. But I want to share a number with you that may surprise you. Last year, in 2017, the first two weeks of school, Knoxville Police issued 710 various citations within a school zone. It's why today, as we are about to start a new school year, they're hoping that all of us put down our cell phones and slow down. Cooper, you needed the clear pencil pouch. Let's get that. Maybe it's last minute, but Cooper and Maddox Brown have a few more things to get for school at Target. Tonight is Meet the Teacher Night at Ball Camp. So we're going to go meet our teacher and drop off all our new supplies. This family's ready to get back to routine, which comes with drop offs and pickups. For the safety of our kids, people need to get off their cell phone in school zones. In January 2018, a new law went into effect where if school zone signs are flashing, you cannot use your cell phone unless it's on hands free mode. You're in a school zone for just a few minutes, maybe one or two minutes to drop a child off or to travel through that school zone. You know, the text or the phone call can wait. Knoxville police say if someone breaks that law, it's a class C misdemeanor and drivers could be forced to pay a $50 fine. If you stop and think about it at 55 miles an hour, if you look down at your phone to answer a text or read a text, you've, you've driven the length of a football field with your eyes closed basically. Let's go get the highlighters. So many parents today saying they want all of us to concentrate on driving in school zones. So you get that, you know, ding on your phone and it's very, you know, you, you want to look, but just being aware and being present in that moment and taking that few extra minutes with your kids, you know, it could definitely save a life for sure. When it comes to drivers 18 years old and younger, this law means they cannot use cell phones at all, even if it's hands free. I just think being aware and being aware of that law um, and just paying attention, you know, just thinking of something happened to a little one is, is very heartbreaking. Police say now that school's starting, leave a little earlier, slow down, pay attention and drive defensively. But whenever you drop them off, you just Hugs and kisses. Bye, love you. And then they're always waving. Bye, mom. Bye, mom. Now, as you just heard, this law took effect in January 2018. Last spring, specifically on April 13th, KPD and the Knox County Sheriff's Office held a special operation targeting people on their cell phones in school zones. That day, KPD had 26 violations and KCSO had 108 violations. Reporting live in Knoxville, Laura Holm, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Laura, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Parents have been warned. And uh, tomorrow, everyone, tomorrow morning, Knox County Schools will also have a back-to-school safety news conference. Right, of course, we'll be there to bring you coverage of that. We're also hoping to hear from district leadership on this cell phone issue and more as we begin mm -hmm. a new school year.